all right after a long day i am finally back to record for my sagittarius welcome in sagittarius sessions tarot garden oh man there is a big gap between everybody else's reading as you can tell i am in my robe ready for night night time all right so we're gonna see what your energy is for may what is the energy forecast for you guys what you can expect energetically okay all right so i do ask for you guys to help feed the channel so that it can grow its belly all you have to do is like comment and subscribe like comment and subscribe and share videos and that will help grow the channel all right so let's see what's going on with my sagittarius for the month of may judgment card okay i feel like you guys are finally coming to the realization about something here okay somebody is also going through some kind of initiation i feel like a baptism here mm -hmm. this ten of cups wanted to be in reverse so i do feel like somebody could be releasing family members releasing something mm -hmm. somebody is starting a family with somebody else here you got the king of wands in reverse mm -hmm. yeah Okay, Sagittarius, I'm going to go ahead and turn this back around. But what I'm hearing is you're not letting anybody rain on your parade. You have the Knight of Cups as your extra card right there that I'm going to look at. And I just feel that you guys are detaching yourselves from people who aren't going to be giving or reciprocating things. It's giving like a reality check here, okay, for you guys in the month of May. You're coming to the realization that a lot of people don't want to see you, you know, freeing yourself from sinking or not being depressed or not going through hardships. Some people just can't can't take you being happy or having moments in life that tend to be successful or whatever it may be. And sad to say, these are people that you is family. I feel like it's family. They are very negative. They're very condescending. They're very, um, I don't know. It's just like the way that they talk to you, the way that they treat you. It's not in a loving matter. And I feel like you're releasing that because now you know that you can no longer continue pouring into people and caring about people more than they care about themselves or that they care about you. You can't continue trying to make yourself small, okay, while these people try to attack you out here. Um, for some of you guys, you could have lost some loved ones with this judgment into the cups in reverse here with the king of wands. So I just feel like maybe you haven't been feeling confident and maybe you needed people to come in and, and hold you and care about you and love on you. Or it's just something where you, you could have just, you needed somebody to step up and to see you and to be there in whatever aspect, whether you were depressed, you were happy, whatever it may be whether it was you got a job you lost a job you you know what i'm saying you had a baby you lost a, you lost a baby whatever it may be in your life you needed somebody to come in and pour into you um to show you love to nurture you to appreciate you to give you everything that you poured into the the world you needed that back and you weren't receiving that and i feel like in may you're kind of waking up and it makes me think about this post where i seen on twitter where this guy was like I woke up this morning and I blocked all my friends and he said, I had back surgery a month ago. No one texted to check on me. Nobody came by to see me and everybody knew that I had back surgery. So today I decided to block them. I didn't text them to let them know. I didn't say anything. I didn't reach out. I just blocked them. I just dropped them and I moved on because I can't allow myself to have those type of people in my life. And I feel like that's where you're at right now. Okay. Honestly, I feel like that's where you're at with things. It's giving in May. You're going to be equal with me. It's going to be a, a balanced relationship. Or it's not going to be anything at all. Yeah. So you want to be spoiled this month. You want to be spoiled with attention, affection. Um, you want to be given the same respect that you have given other people. All right. So May is going to be a great month for you guys. Okay. So you could be receiving gifts from people. Um, you could also be getting, um, you could be buying yourself new gifts. I feel like going shopping. 
I'm feeling all this jewelry. So somebody could be getting jewelry. Yeah, you're releasing messy ass people. The fake friends, like I told you, you're going to be releasing them. Somebody could be getting a new home, okay? You could also be getting a new car here. If this is something that you've been praying for. Uh, some of you guys, things are going to start getting softer for you. So you don't have to be so in your masculine energy or overworking or just, you know, grinding hard, picking up extra shifts to try to take care of something. Uh, you can finally come out of that. I feel like you're going to be able to enjoy life a little bit more. I do see you guys being happier during this time. Okay, if you're dealing with somebody, you could be dealing with an Aries here or a Scorpio is what I'm feeling. An Aries or a Scorpio. Pisces, Gemini, Taurus, um, they could be having a side person here, okay? Or somebody that's dealing with somebody could be coming around trying to um, give you that player, that player charm to try to get you to mess with them, okay? Uh, somebody's side chick or somebody that left you and went with somebody else, either this other person or their new person is watching you, okay? Is watching you. Okay, somebody feels like you guys still have something going on. So if you guys could be sneaking with somebody in a relationship, the other person then found out and now they're watching you, they're investigating you. And I want to tell you to be careful because I feel like they're going to try to whoop your ass. I'm not going to lie. I feel like they're trying to fight you on sight. Okay, we have this depression card here. Like I said, I feel like a lot of you guys are coming out of depression. Um, I feel like if you've been overthinking things or in your head a lot, that's going to be changing. You're going to be feeling very vibrant, very confident. Um, creative energy is coming back, spark. So you could be having new ideas. You could be having new goals, wanting to try new things, do new things, even getting back in the role of dating. Uh, you could be wanting to do something creative with your hair, with your wardrobe. I feel like somebody wants to get a different looking couch, like a new couch or something. So yeah. This is the time to go after that. Maybe it just seems like it's a shift of energy here. Like uh, you're releasing and allowing something to, to grow. Okay. I do see if you've been looking for a loan for a home or a loan to pay some kind of bills. Your loan is getting accepted. Yeah. You, you do have whatever money that you need is coming back. If you have a family member who owes you, excuse me, who owes you money, they're going to be paying you back as well. So congratulations. You are going to be having family drama though. So somebody probably is going to be behind you giving somebody money or somebody seeing you level up and becoming happy. Like I said, you you know, you're going to be able to be softer. They see you getting on your feet and stuff. They see you being happy and they don't like you being happy. They want to see you down. So there's going to cause issues here. Uh, a lot of conflict between you and family. I do have co-parenting here, but I don't think it's co-parenting. I feel like it's just somebody in your family. Okay, that has an issue with you. You also got whoever this other person is that's in this date that y'all dating the same person. Somebody get them on the weekend, somebody get them Sunday, Monday, Friday, whatever. Um, yeah, water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, like I told you. That's where the drama is coming in with one of those signs with the water sign. And this is somebody that you've been dealing with for a long time. And this is the romantic side here. Uh, this was somebody that you were a lover or best friends with. Yeah, water and fire sign. So I do feel like something happened where the flame keeps going out. Y'all try to reignite it. Flame keeps going out. You try to reignite it. Uh, it just seems like a lot of drama. It could have been a third party person. Somebody was trying to mess with two people at one time. Um, so I don't know. If they're coming back around though. Or some drama coming back around. So get ready. Um, protect yourself spiritually is something that I want to tell you because it's an unpleasant person who's coming in here for you guys. Uh, for some of you guys here, you could be dealing with somebody who is an air sign of the same sex here. Um, they could be coming in wanting to, with this earth sign, I feel like rebuild something with you, a connection. Um, yeah, this could be somebody of the same sex here. They could also be expressing their love for you. This could be an air sign or earth sign I'm hearing. A Libra, Aquarius, or a Virgo here that could be expressing how they feel about you and love you, or it's just like they miss you, okay? Or even if they aren't lesbian, this is just somebody that you could have been really close with or gay. It just could have been somebody of the same sex that you were really close with. So close, you spent a lot of time with, you were with them all the time, talked to them all the time, that it kind of looked like you guys were a couple here. Um, they're coming back to reconcile, um, rebuild that connection. 
Um, and they're coming in with a genuine energy here. So you don't have to worry about them coming in to try to like backstab or anything here. Okay. All right. So I feel like a relationship is coming in for you guys. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be getting married as well. Especially if you're same sex here. Y'all could be getting married. Um, Y'all got a lot of love coming in in the month of May. Y'all got a good person coming in here. Okay. Somebody who's bossed up. Somebody who knows what they want, what they want to do here. Okay. Uh, I feel like this person might have spent a little time in jail. They did. They moved a little work. Okay. They got a nice place to move. They got a nice place. Okay. Yeah. They used to, I don't know, somebody, somebody got caught stealing or they had something. But they were taken away. Um, but I do feel like they want to take you on a getaway. I don't know why, but I feel like this person wants to take you on a getaway. Okay. Somebody's job could be coming to an end here or a coworker could be um, passing away. I feel like there's somebody here who's going to be doing a lawsuit. Okay. It's going to work out in your favor. I don't know why I just heard that. But yeah, your May seems pretty interesting. Your, your, your May is the most interesting May that I've seen so far. All right, Sagittarius, until next time.